Memphis State. Long pass trying to feed LeClaire. They get Ronan instead inside the line. For McEachern couldn't get it to him. Kept alive in the zone by Sikarski. Quick shot is blocked. Back from LeClaire. Gets up for the rebound but gets taken down again. Here's a centering pass up for Sikarski. That goes wide. McEachern puts it in front and Ronan couldn't find it. Well, the American player is looking for rebounds all tied up by the two Soviet defensemen. Quick shot, they score. The Soviets get an extra goal after three great chances for the United States. Karsh, it looks like, yes. puts it in to make it a, a 7-3 lead. What a game he's had. He's been strong. The Americans had the goal-scoring chances, two or three of them, but Chudinov, number seven, and number five, Zinafiyov, with a great job defensively in front of Archer's ear bay. Now watch the release of this shot. That's what European players are noted for. He takes the pass in one motion, goes into the wrist shot, and beats Chad Erickson, who had good position, but he was beaten with a good shot. These European players, especially the Soviets, are so adept at shooting the puck off the pass, whether it be a slap shot or a wrist shot, and that was a great example of it. But again, Don, will mention about the fine defensive play as the Americans jammed the goal in front of Irbe, Irbe, pardon me, they couldn't get a clean shot because of that fine play. So Alexander Karch with a goal last night adds two more tonight for three in this challenge series. The Soviets lead 7-3 to three overall, 3-1 three on the night. Well, the, the Americans just simply, if you're dumping the puck in, keep it away from your bay. Here's Van Duel, looks for Beljavsky, waits, shoots, puck's lost, but he gets the rebound and puts it in. Erickson couldn't find it for a moment, and the dangerous winger, Alexander Beljavsky, pounced with the rebound. An example, Don, of your bay. The puck was put down towards the Soviet netminder, See how he gets the puck? Now watch him quickly move it up ice. It traps everybody. Right away, the Soviets handle the shootout by the goaltender. Watch this pretty pass work inside the zone. Two quick passes and a rebound goal on Chad Erickson, who made a fine first save. Ear Bay's quickness of moving the puck out sets the Soviet up, the Soviet team up, and you see their pass work starting to shine. They've had two strong third periods so far in this two-game tournament. They're looking pretty good. <laughs> Notice the poise of Beljavsky, too, taking his time to make the first shot. Rebound is what put it in, but he did not lose his cool with a great chance in front of the net. So it's 4-1 on the night, 8-3 now. The total goal series, Soviets break it open, and they break it in again. Prostek comes, and Erickson is beaten one more time. That play was engineered by the uh, Montreal draft choice, Vito Lynch. Made the pass, the relay for the ninth goal.